Typically in water distribution systems in America, there are two main types of valves used. Now both of these are gate valves, but one is called a double disc or metal seated valve and the other is called a resilient wedge gate valve. The metal seated double disc valve has been around for probably close to 100 years, if not 100 years. Uh, it's a very, very robust and durable valve if one thing is done, and that is that the valve is exercised. Because of the design of the valve, it has metal discs that actually shut off the water flow, and inside of those discs is a wedge mechanism. That's what really helps to shut the, the flow of the water off. If that mechanism has a buildup of tuberculation in the valve, which is a, an iron deposit, it's not rust, but it's a, it's a deposit that very much can get into all of the internal parts and, uh, and essentially jam the valve up. By exercising the valve, those parts can remain free. The valve will function properly whenever it's, uh, it's called upon. The other type of valve is called a resilient wedge gate valve. This valve is similar in function to the double disc valve, but instead of using a metal gate, it actually uses a rubber coated gate for a, as a closure element. Uh, it's, very, it's a very forgiving valve because with the wedge shape of the gate, it just simply blocks off the flow in the, in the valve body itself. It has a, a, much, a, a much simpler design, fewer parts. Uh, the valve is cheaper to buy. Uh, there are water utilities in America that very much believe in the double disc valve and since we see very frequently these valves still in service after 60 and 75 years, there's a lot to be said for that. Because of cost, most new valves that are going in today are the resilient gate valve. Uh, the downside, if, if you wanted to look at that as far as the resilient gate, is it's not as robust as the metal seat because of that rubber closure element. If there's anything in the water flow and the valve is closed, some type of metallic uh, object, there's all sorts of things that can find its way into, into water piping, especially in new construction. A, a worker leaves a pair of pliers or a hammer in the line, and then when everything is pressured up and the water is moving, uh, it's very possible that, that that item may be directly underneath the, the gate of that valve. And, then when it goes to close, then the rubber coating is compromised and the valve leaks. A metal seated valve wouldn't have that problem. You could still damage the gate, but it would probably be much more forgiving. The metal seated double disc valve, if treated with some degree of care, can last a very, very long period of time.